hello all and welcome to jungle welcome to the channel welcome to paper and moose if you are new here thank you for joining me today it is a trash picking garbage picking adventure if you are new to the channel please make sure to subscribe this way you will always be notified of all the adventures that i go on and today like i said it is garbage day last week i had a great two garbage days will today be as great will i find curbs full of vintage you just never know and that's why I go out there when I can to see what is left on the trash so we can turn into treasure so let's get out there hit the curb as I call it and see what we can find today in this trash picking episode I saw one thing down here that a lot of people like to use to display their items so we'll see if it's broken Looks like it's good and it has the right amount of paint already on it. We'll take this little guy. That's really cute. No garbage. I think last week may have been the better garbage week. But we shall keep going and see what we can find. Garbage. So, same house where I got the saws. He's put out more old tools. Oh, a plane. It's a cute little lock. Chisels. And then we have a nice, ooh, I like that. A drill kit. I like that box. We're gonna take all of these. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm gonna make two trips, make it easy on myself. So you aren't imagining things. That was it. As I said, garbage picking, you never know. You could have a great week, a great month, or just a great day. And the next time you go out, there's nothing. So the home, that had the bag of vintage jewelry that I found. They didn't have any trash out, so either I completely missed it or they were putting it out a lot later than what they normally did. But I did find this cute ladder. It's a little small guy. It has a little bit of a wobble to him, but a lot of people that decorate, they like to use the small ladders to decorate with. They will put their treasures on them or just use them in a whole variety of decor. So if you ever do see a small little ladder out for trash, definitely pick it up because they are good sellers at the flea market for now anyway. So the home where I found the box carton of saws in one of my last garbage videos, they put out more tools. So thank you, because that was my only find of the day. So what do we have? It's an unveiling of mystery tools, I guess. There is this box. These, I think, are drill, drill bits. I'm not well versed in tools, so I will definitely get an education in this video. So yes, all sorts of different drills. I'm sure crafters can use these. Oh, look at this guy. That one's kind of neat. I like that one. Crafters can use these or, you know, if they do hold any value, I'm not sure. A wooden handle. You know, this would be good, a good box to put out at the flea market and the older gentleman would love to rummage around. A lot of these. Yeah, just a whole assortment. And then this guy, a little lock, it looks like. It's pretty seized up though, but still. These could be used for all sorts of things. So, one box of miscellaneous parts. Then there was also the home utility drill kit. This had some things in it, not the drill. Oh, I think the drill was in the crate that I picked up the week prior. So, this ladder had 
one more ring and I can put things up, but so I'll show you that really nice inside. The inside looks really good. Um, has that musty basement smell, but yes, yeah, so you have Black and Decker instruction tag. This part of the drill um, pad and instructions. So there's that. This box, another good flea market find. I do enjoy. I don't know why. I love little drawers and old wooden boxes and some metal boxes, especially if they are green. But I think this one, I'm just going to clean it up and this will be a flea market piece once the flea markets reopen. But let's actually move this ladder. I'll just prop him over here. The best find at, okay, at that home. Prop this baby up. Was this box of chisels? I'm going to say, and there's also a plane. This is a number six plane. I know wooden planes go for a lot more money. I've I don't know the maker on this. I'm not sure, but a plane. I liked this. I wasn't sure what, I'm not, I have no idea what it is. It kind of reminds me of a propeller. Oh, it does have the blade. So this probably went down like this again. Those that know your tools, you're probably cringing as I speak and I'm sorry, but this is a way to help you help me by informing me of what this is. There's that. This little piece. Let me know in the comments. Shears. Ashton. Which. Oh. Edward Scissorhands, anyone? These might actually still be pretty usable. There is a maker. Well, it's Ashton. No. Um, put some elbow grease on these, clean them up, oil them up, and you're good to go. Uh, one of these guys, then. I found another one of these in the garbage a while ago, and no one wanted it at the flea market. I don't even think I can sell it. That guy. This one I thought was rather nice. It has a great old wooden handle. It is Simmons made in USA aluminum. So let's just take a look now just to see. Play devil's advocate if this is worth anything. So we have a Simmons aluminum vintage Simmons saw comes up right away. Um, chisel. There's one that's a lot, oh my gosh. The mixed antique and vintage lot used file Simmons brass neck Nicholson number two chisels, $119. Fast and free shipping. Sold, again, I'm only looking on eBay and completed. There's nothing. Simmons Royal Chinook for $96. Too bad I didn't have one of those. <laughs> Maybe there's one in here. I don't see one. We'll have to see. Do a little bit more research on my part for that. But put my gloves back on. I just thought the wooden handle was rather nice. Again, clean that baby up and you'd be good to go. So there's that one. So oh look at this one. That's in the uh some damage, but that's a rather nice handle too. If you can see the work on that. Whoops. Whoops, a daisy. 
You go back in there. Yeah, these are so, oh, this is a Simmons too. So perhaps I have a whole set of the different Simmons. Oh, this is a Nicholson. Another project for me to look them all up. Now, how can these be cleaned? You can let me know. Look at this guy. It has an arrow. B M Butcher. I don't know if you can see that. You might not be able to. If I let it focus, this is M Butcher, I believe. If I hold it the right way. Cast steel or W. Either W Butcher or M Butcher, cast steel. And then this is the other mark on it. You can see that. And there's Mr. Crow. Right on time. Again, really nice older. Here's another one with a nice older. This is the same. This is another butcher. I can tell by this arrow mark. So another really nice old wooden handle. Clean these up and make them shine again. And these are nice just to put out in your decor as well. What's this piece? Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Acme 210 J Stores, Philadelphia, PA. J Stores and Son, Philadelphia, PA. That is a cute little piece of tool. Yes, tools can be cute. Imagine that. Now, I don't want to say what I think I know this is for because I'd probably just embarrass myself. So we will let you all. Maybe this might be the best piece out of here. Acme 210 J Stores and Son, Philly, Pennsylvania. Some place for me to look up. I really like that. And again, just a whole bunch of other chisels. I think they're either going to be that butcher company butcher brand or this one is huge or the Simmons so I might have a complete set of the Simmons brand I will have to check I know nothing about chisels but picking them up in the garbage allows me to find out a little bit more about them so this was a good find you know I didn't find a, a bag of free jewelry but I found a little container of free chisels. You just never know. Another Nicholson, hand cut, USA. So any of you that can provide any information about the chisels and if you know anything about the brands, then please be sure to leave a comment below. It is so helpful and I really do appreciate it. So that's it for the garbage picking for today. I'm going to have to get creative with my garbage picking because of the stay in orders that are in place. I might have to get my feet a walking and see if I can garbage pick that way, which would be really interesting because if I would find something amazing that is super heavy, that'd be a problem. If only I had a wagon, that'd be a lot of fun. But so yeah, just a quick pick today and sometimes that's how it goes. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little trash picking episode. If you need more trash in your life, then be sure to check out my uh, trash picking, garbage picking episode list. And there are plenty of episodes for you to find on there. I will be doing some other videos this week. Of course, a mail video. I'm in dire need of opening some mail because um, I have a lot to open. Thanks to all of you lovely viewers who have sent me items. And then I did go on a little adventure. If that video came out, I'll be posting that as well. So hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you all are staying safe, whatever it is that you may be doing inside or taking a walk outside and enjoying nature during this spring season. So hope you have a great day and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.